Hey everybody, I'm Susie and this is Susie Stuff. Welcome to Station KDIY, Channel 146, home of quick, easy, affordable, and always fun DIYs. Today is all about creating fun ghosts. So let's get started right now. Come on. And we're going to get started with a 16-inch wreath form from Dollar Tree and some burlap. Now, the burlap I got at Walmart, but they do have burlap now at, at uh, Dollar Tree. So all I'm doing is just gonna wrap this burlap all the way around to give it our base wreath. This is gonna be one of the easiest wreaths you're gonna make this season. So I'm gonna finish up wrapping it. And then when I was at Dollar Tree, I was just kind of shopping around and I told the lady that I was doing a ghost video and she gave me this broken ghost that uh, has a stand. I know you've probably seen it. So she just gave it to me. She goes, here, take it. And um, I just put a little bit of black fabric on the back. And then I used some white shoe polish, also from Dollar Tree, and just went over it um, to make it a little bit <clears throat> kind of a whitewash on the, on the ghost. Then I just took a little bit of some fall picks here that I've had. These came from Dollar Tree. I just wanted it to be very minimal so that the ghost was the star of the show. So I added that. I added a small gingham bow and that is it. This came together so quick. I love it. It's so easy and simple, but yet perfect for Halloween. Isn't he so cute? new at Dollar Tree this year are these ghost tea lights they are precious they come three in a pack and I'm just gonna throw a couple of uh, projects together super easy I had these jars you can use some cloches if you want I just added the candles right in with some moss now this truck came from Dollar Tree in the uh, dollar plus section and I've kind of used it um, for different seasons there's so much hot glue in the bottom I just added some popsicle sticks to make it even and then I just added my three ghosts inside the truck and I just added all kinds of different things a pine cone some raffia some more moss just to kind of hide it all up in there then I cut a little bit of a popsicle stick rope boo and then I used some of my brown shoe polish I love that stuff if you haven't picked it up grab it it's perfect for small little little pieces like that and that's done look how cute that is and then I decided to add a little driver in there so I hot glued a popsicle stick inside so he could sit on it and there he is driving the truck is that not so cute and then I just added some Dollar Tree lights <laughs> I really want to light the candles, but I want it to last, so I think on Halloween will be the night that I light the ghosts. And so this is the ones in the jar, and I just added a little mini bale of hay between them on um, a little tray that I had. Added some little uh, pumpkins, and that's it. I can't wait to light these. And if you don't want to use a bale of hay, you could just use all three of them together or just one. Add it somewhere like in your bathroom or on a shelf. But I just think these are so cute. You could even add more into the jar if you like. There's a little mini pumpkin. But I just love these tea light ghost candles. They are so adorable. Are you 
ready for another super easy ghost DIY, grab some of these flexible cutting mats over in the kitchen section. And I am just going to draw on a couple of eyes. And that one is going um, horizontal. And then I did another one that is vertical. And I'm just gonna take some invisible tape and I think you could use probably almost any type of clear tape. And I just put it on there like that. You might need another pair of hands, which I didn't have, but you're just going to tape that together super easy and then kind of push it down and make it, make it, make sure it's round. And then here is the vertical one. He's super tall and skinny. And I just did the same thing here. And now comes your choice of lights to illuminate our ghost. I have these puck lights that I really like. You can also try out the new, what do you call that? The, It's the projector thingy that is so popular now. And that looks really cool in there. I thought, wow, and you don't even have to make it a ghost. You could just, you know, not have the eyes and have it sitting. But here are the puck lights. I do like these, but what I think I like the most is um, these just little tea light candles. That they're they're more kind of an orangish color, which I kind of like, and they flicker. Um, but any type of light that you would like to use, I don't recommend a candle. But um, these look perfect. Ooh, and you could also make some shorter ones you could just cut the uh, cutting board in half and make a whole ghost of family and that's just what i did here i just cut them down and you could even see on the top i kind of scalloped it a little bit added some different faces i just think this is so cute uh, going down a table or on a buffet table but I just think this is so easy so inexpensive and it looks so good I really do love the tea lights and I love that they flicker any lights will do but watch out Woo! Let's make another fabulous ghost DIY using these microfiber cloths from Dollar Tree and I also have some black fabric and I'm going to just, I was going to fold it in half and make one pillow that way, but my pattern was a little bit bigger, so I just made it with two of the microfiber, microfiber towels. And I just kind of sketched out what I wanted. It wasn't perfect. I really don't have a pattern. Just kind of do what you do what you like. And I think there is one, is it Pottery Barn or is it... Um, I don't know, Kirkland's maybe, um, that you can follow the pattern or you can get one off Google somewhere. But I just made this one with some poster board and then very carefully, even though this is sped up, just very carefully cut, go slow. And yes, it will kind of um, drop off some of those feathery little pieces, but no worries. I'm gonna show you a trick at the end how to take care of that. So I went ahead and cut out two pieces and now I'm just gonna hot glue that together. Then just grab some of your favorite filler stuff. I have an old pillow that I usually use and then I always pick up a $2 pillow at Dollar General. They have good ones. And then I just hot glued it all up just like that. And to get into the arms, you can use a dowel or scissors or whatever to kind of poke it in there. You'll see in just a minute, I don't like that little tip thing. I just kind of cut it off. It just didn't, I don't know, it just didn't get stuffed right. It looked kind of silly. <laughs> so I just rounded it off and cut. Now, what I'm doing here is just kind of going back over it and cutting as close as I can to where my hot glue is. And then here's the secret, grab yourself a lighter and then just kind of go around. I don't know what's in that microfiber stuff, but it kind of, it kind of melts and it, it seals it and it makes it look really finished and nice. I don't know if you can see there, it just kind of melts away and I love it. It kind of becomes hard. So this worked great. And I want to make some more of these pillows. These are perfect for a little gift. 
I'm going to a Halloween party this year and I the um, host asked me to make some gifts for some of the costume uh, prizes so this is definitely going to be one of those then I just cut some fabric out hot glued it on just like that you can do whatever face you like I just did a whoo face and it is so darling and so easy and so inexpensive so grab you some of those microfiber towels and create your cute little ghost pillow ghost today you could even uh, hot glue him holding a pumpkin if you like but it looks darling on this couch and this beautiful orange blanket here comes number five grab one of the new black canvases from Dollar Tree some of the white fake or faux leather from Dollar Tree and just a black marker all I did was turn over the leather and sort of draw a kind of a half ghost he's just gonna come up out of the picture you guys this is so easy and so fast I cannot believe how fast this came together so just cut out your kind of half of a ghost and then pop him on there just like that and then you're just going to add some hot glue kind of just around the edges I wouldn't recommend putting it on the inside because sometimes it gets kind of you can see all the um, the glue so just kind of go around the edges and then you're going to add some eyes this is so easy and perfect for a great Halloween gift. And I'm also thinking you could grab some more of the black canvases and do like a grouping of them, maybe like four with different faces, maybe different sizes of ghosts. It's just up to you how you would like to try it out. But look how cute this is. I just love it. And I hope you love it too. So grab all those supplies. And now for another quick ghostly sign. I've got this old piece of wood and some of these felt cut out ghosts from Dollar Tree. And all you do is pop out the eyes and the mouth, but the little uh, pieces for the skirt area, I guess, from the from the uh, ghost, I just didn't uh, cut those out. I wanted it to be sort of solid. All I did was just add some hot glue on there and kind of put them on there to where they're holding hands or kind of dancing around, just like that. And then I'm going to grab some of these wooden letters that I got on Amazon. I painted them really quick black. Eek, boo, and yow. I didn't know the third word. <laughs> what else could I have put? Yow. And then I just tied it up with some twine and then grabbed this awesome uh, orange and black ribbon from Dollar Tree. I love it. So what do you think? Super easy, super cute. Look, would look great on a doorknob too. some more fuzzy material I grabbed these mop heads from Dollar Tree and some white washcloths I had some already but Dollar Tree does have some white washcloths so all you do is cut the washcloth in half and then use your hot glue gun and go all the way around except for the bottom you want to leave a hole down there and then place your washcloth on top of that I don't think I said it but this is on the back of the mop head and then I'm just gonna take my scissors and trim it up I made three you can make however many you like next I'm going to add some eyes and you could use fabric whatever you like but I had these wood biscuits that I had ordered a while back from Amazon and I just thought they had the cutest shape for eyes for a ghost so I just quickly painted them black you also need some clear vases from Dollar Tree and then some lights and Dollar Tree of course has lights but I had ordered these from Amazon and I'm just going to go ahead and use those and you throw that into the vase and then slip your mop cover right on top. You know where I'm going with this? 
And on the back, I cut a little slit, you see there. And so I'm just going to uh, put that right over the clear vase and then I'll feed the turn off, turn on switch through the little slit like that. It's so easy. You could even hot glue that battery pack right there and just turn it on and look, it glows. couple of more things to do before we're finished I just shaped his head a little bit kind of a round head and then hot glued on the eyes oh it's done just like that how easy you can also add a mouth on there and these are the other three eyes that I added it illuminates so beautifully when in the dark and I just think it is so so cute Here's all three of my friends, and then here are some more with some ghostly mouths. So give these fuzzy ghosts a try. I know you'll love it. Grab a clear, whoa, grab a clear glass um, candle holder vase and then I'm just going to paint the outside I think I used was that plaster yeah I think it was and I just did a couple of coats of that and you could also do the inside too if you want to then grab your paint pen and draw on a spooky face just like that some beautiful fern that I picked up at Walmart and I painted it black I just used some spray paint it was easy you can do any kind of floral pick that you have um, they do have some black florals over at Dollar Tree but I just had this on hand and I had some black paint and so I stuck it in some styrofoam kind of hot glued it down and then to take up some of the space <laughs> I used some some moss. I think it looks just like Wilson from Castaway that cracked me up. And that's all there is to it. Now, the face is not the exact one that I did um, when I was showing you, but any face will do. And I think this is so fun. It's so easy. Make a Wilson ghost today. I love Dollar Tree frames I'm gonna use this $2 frame from Walmart and some poster board from Dollar Tree I just thought this frame was a little more sturdy so all you have to do is cut the poster board to size and then just kind of make these little loopy things this was inspired by something I saw on Pinterest and all you have to do is just draw in some fun ghost faces this was so therapeutic I just kind of sat there and thought things up and then um, looked at Pinterest again to get some more ideas but this was so easy so quick to put together throw that in the frame and there you have it is that not so cute and here it is I love this perfect for a bathroom or shelf or a gift I love how this turned out so easy so much you can do with frames And always go to the internet to see if you can find a printable that you love and I thought this ghost was darling this is a Dollar Tree frame and I just cut it down to size then I'm adding some Dollar Tree ribbon that I thought went well and just made a little decorative um, kind of cut on the left top side there what do you think so easy And this turned out so cute. I love those lights. Always pick up some lights and have fun looking online for your favorite printable. As I was shopping around Dollar Tree, I knew I needed some hand soap. I've been buying it there a lot lately. They have the foam too. And I found that cute little uh, ghost one in the darling and all I thought let's just decorate it up a little bit add a little gingham bow I thought that one turned out so cute 
And then the other ones, I used the rub-on stickers. As you can see there, um, it says Happy Halloween. I think it's one meant for a glass. Then these other ones that are so cute, we used in the uh, haunted house. It really did rub off a lot easier because it was a flat, flat surface. So I just rubbed those off and they peeled off perfectly. I left the label on this soap uh, dispenser because it says spice pumpkin and I just love that look how easy that one came off it was so so easy it didn't even have to rub it and then I just added another little uh, jack-o-lantern down there so cute this would be great for your kids to decorate and then I added some rustic twine and added a bow one of the I think you call it harlequin pattern and I love that so cute so you could put it in your bathroom kitchen wherever you'd like. Perfect. And for the last little ghost DIY, it is kind of funny. You got to let me know if you like how it came out. But these are the trick-or-treat bags at Dollar Tree. They really are super cute and they're made out of this canvas. And I wanted to do a little something different. So I just, I really didn't like the eyes. So I took some acrylic paint. I don't think chalk paint would work as well. And so I just made the eyes kind of all in one. And then I went over the mouth as well. Really had no idea how, I, what I was doing. I just started painting and things just kind of popped up in my head. And the first thing is I, look how that dried nicely. I just used some of the pillow filler, filler in there. Then I grabbed some lights, poked those down in there, and it kind of made like a little lantern, which was super cute. And then I just added some, um, some uh, sunflowers and hung it in the tree. So I think it's super cute. It came out like, like that. And sitting in the bushes there, it looked super cute. And then I thought, well, what if I just took the flowers out and this is what it looked like. One rule about crafting is always have fun. And that's what we do here on Suzy Stuff. So I hope you enjoyed today. Don't forget to check out my shorts on my page. I love um, a quick little idea and I have a lot of those there. I appreciate you so much for dropping by and I hope you enjoyed the ghost videos. I've got some more Halloween videos, just a couple of more to go and then we'll start uh, some Thanksgiving. So thanks for joining me on Susie's Stuff, Station KDIY, Channel 146. Bye everybody!